Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you back to Texas Motor Speedway for the second to last race in the third round of the playoffs, the 2021 to 2022 NASCAR Cup Series Auto Trader Echo Park Automotive 500. The only driver safe from elimination today is Jimmy Johnson after winning last time at Kansas Speedway. But if he wins here, he will gain more momentum going into the championship race at Phoenix Motor Speedway. So without further ado, let's go down trackside to get the starting command. Driver, start your engines! Now as the field rolls off, we're going to take a look at your starting lineup. On the front row, we have Brad Keselowski and Kyle Busch. Behind them, teammates William Byron and Chase Elliott. In row three, we've got Jimmy Johnson and Ryan Blaney. And the last of the playoff drivers will be Martin Truex Jr. and Joe Logano. Behind them in the top ten will be Eric Jones and Matt Kenseth. And we have Matt Benedetto and Daryl Wallace Jr. In row 7 we've got Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and Eric Amarola. Along with Kevin Harvick and Alex Bowman. Behind them in row 9 we've got Chris Buescher and Ty Dillon. Running at the top 20 is Daniel Suarez and Cole Custer. And we have Clint Boyer and Justin Haley, followed closely by Kurt Busch and Tyler Reddick. Towards the back is Ryan Newman and Christopher Bell. And behind them, Austin Dillon and Joey Gaze. And rounding out the field for today's race is Michael McDowell and Denny Hamlin. Now let's take a look at our race rundown. It's a 20-lap race. The fuel window will be somewhere around halfway. And Johnson, like I said, is the only driver safe from elimination today. Now the field's coming around turn four, and the green flag is in the air. Great start by Keselowski. He's going to start to open up his lead on William Byron as he'll complete the first lap. Now Jimmy Johnson trying to find a way to gain momentum. Oh, to the inside, it's not going to work. Three laps to go in the opening stage with go on board with Johnson. Trying to go to the inside, it's not going to work. Keselowski is still opening up his gap with two laps to go in the stage. As now Johnson is trying to close the gap. One lap to go in the opening stage. Johnson is now right on the back bumper. Keselowski is not going to get there in time. Brad Keselowski wins the opening stage. Now we're going to take a break to organize the choose rule along with any pit stops. And we'll be right back after this for stage two. Be sure to keep it tuned right here. Welcome back. You're watching the NASCAR Cup Series Auto Trader Echo Park Automotive 500. Before the break, Brad Keselowski won the opening stage from the lead. Now the choose rule will come into play for the first time. Brad Keselowski looks like he's going to go low and William Byron will choose the top lane. And it's going to be another five lap shootout to decide the winner of this stage. Now the leaders are approaching the restart zone. The green flag is in the air. Oh, Keselowski does not get going. This allows Johnson to take the lead on the high side. He comes around turn three and all goes in. Justin Haley and William Byron, a playoff driver involved. It's going to be a heavy hit for him. Costa's out. Here's a slow motion replay. I'm not sure. It looks like Haley got out of line and Byron looks like he had nowhere to go. It's going to be a hard hit for the 24 team in the points. He may be in danger of elimination. He's going to have to win to get in at Martinsville. Now we've got some piss offs in progress. Looks like Jones and Bell are going to both come down and get some fresh tires as we'll restart with two laps to go in the stage. Johnson and Keselowski will lead us to the green. The drivers are approaching the restart zone. The green flag is back in the air. Johnson gets a great jump with help from the number 19 as he's opening up his lead. And one lap to go in the stage. Truex trying to find a way to gain momentum on it, but it's not going to be enough. Jimmy Johnson wins stage two. As now we'll take a break to organize this choose rule and any pit stops. And we'll be right back after this for the third and final stage. You're watching the NASCAR Cup Series Auto Trader Echo Park Automotive 500. Before the break, Jimmy Johnson took out the stage 2 win and two drivers got eliminated in a crash. Now the choose will come into play once again. Looks like Johnson is going to choose the bottom lane and Keselowski will go up top. As now we take a look at your drivers to watch for with only 7 laps to go. First up we have the leader, the 48 of Jimmy Johnson. He's already locked into the playoffs and he's looking to gain more momentum with a win here today. And up we, and we have Martin Truex Jr. in the 19. He hasn't won since Bristol and he's in danger of elimination. He needs a win to relieve the pressure. He's currently second. 
And we have Brad Keselowski. He won the first playoff race. He's hoping to get it done again here today. He's currently fourth. Now the drivers are approaching the restart zone. The green flag is back in the air. Another great start for Jimmy Johnson as we go on board with Austin Dillon. Johnson has already opened up his knee as he completes the first lap of the final stage. And now Johnson is still trying to open up his knee. Even though he crashed at turn three. Ryan Newman and Eric Jones. Caution is out here with five laps to go. Let's take a look at the replay back there. Looks like Newman had a little help from Eric Jones. He got loose and there was nowhere Eric Jones could go. Great job by everyone else to avoid all that, but this is obviously a tough break for both drivers. <laughs> now the choose will come into play for what could be the final time. Johnson will go low and Austin Dillon is going to choose the top lane as we'll restart with three laps to go. Johnson and Lagana lead us to the green. The drivers are approaching the restart zone. The green flag is back in the air. Another great start from Jimmy Johnson. As now Kyle Busch tries to fight him. Two laps to go. And Kyle Busch still trying to close the gap between himself and Johnson. As we come around the turn, fourth star, the white flag. One lap to go. Kyle Busch fighting hard. Oh, hard against the inside, but it's not going to be enough. Jimmy Johnson wins at Texas. And that's going to give him more momentum. As this is his seventh win of the season. Congratulations to him. Now let's take a look at our overall race results. Great job by Kevin Harder to finish second. He obviously wasn't having a good season from that win in Indianapolis, but he's definitely improving. But Kyle Busch comes from third, because last year he's Truex Knight. And here's some more playoff drivers. Blaney, Logano, Elliott, 11th, 12th, and 13th in that order. Denny Hamlin has a decent day. He comes home 16th. As Christopher Bell finishes 18th. And now William Byron here is definitely going to be outside the cutoff. But how far out he'll reveal in a moment. A great finish. By Matt Kenzie. He comes around 21st. And here is the cutoff. As of now, it will be Johnson, Kyle Busch, Blaney, and Elliott going to the championship. As for everyone else, they'll have to win it at Martinsville, or they're not going to the championship race. We still have one more. So thank you everyone for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Congratulations again to Jimmy Johnson. The penultimate race from Martinsville will be coming very, very soon. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and smash the like button. Because you're not going to want to miss a single lap of Hot Wheels Cup Series racing action. And until next time, stay safe. I'm Arctic Fox, and I'll see you at the finish line. Stay frosty.